What is going on, our chaotic friends, listeners, viewers? Tis I, the King Chaos. Sir Pat Knight. With me, as always, Captain. Now, you guys, Captain Slappy had prior engagements tonight. He is actually attending the Mount Carmel High School football game. He has a daughter in the band, and he is an avid Mount Carmel Aces football lover. So he goes to the games. Um, we are on our way to state if we won tonight. I do not know. Go Aces. I was alumni there, so yes, go Aces. But no, you guys, I'm just kind of giving you an update on where um, Unscripted Chaos Live is going. First off, we want to thank everybody, everybody, everybody. Excellent. 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 Who watches, subscribes, comments, likes. You guys are what is making it going. So as you can tell, we're into season three. Okay, so if you if you look over, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this real quick. I don't normally do this shit, but here you go. That's where we first started at. That's the old garage door, and now as you can tell, we're we we got some stuff going on. Like now tonight cost me a little bit of money. Used to get high with a guy named Woody. Knew a guy named Sam Malone. Well, Sam Malone actually has some like he knows a guy that I work with who played baseball at college somewhere and um Woody and Sam were talking they knew the same guy and called him and hell they knew me and him together so it was like team and team and he got me my background for tonight man my rental little bitchy waitress though named Carla short hair fiery little booger no but <laughs> no I just want to let you know you know, we use the green screen now which opens up me and Slappy to a lot of um like our little short videos that we do and we want to start getting that out there to you like making little videos of what we're going to talk about our topics is the next thing I want to talk about people ask where do your topics come from we get a lot of topics from where we work at um, just random conversations and then me and Slappy sit down and we kind of right before we get ready to shoot we okay let's just we'll go with this one now we I do have some big news for you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, by popular demand, the return of the legend, the man, the myth. You don't have to go to the holiday world to ride it because he's single too. Ladies and gentlemen, three toe Gary Lowe, the most viewed unscripted chaotic live video will be back on the show. He is done with his tour. There ain't no stinky on my hang down. And he told us he'd get a little time for us. So we do appreciate that. Three Toe had like over 200 views almost overnight. Which to us, okay, I know I know a lot of people are sitting, well, that's not shit. We don't advertise anywhere else. We just do YouTube and YouTube only by word of mouth. That's how we get out there. We don't have the time to do the other stuff. But Three Toe... And then me and Slappy had the opener. And it was big. Because everybody was watching it thinking, well, I wonder what these two clown shoes are going to do. <coughs> we did exactly what you thought we were going to do. <laughs> like, who? I don't know what you were thinking. Like, I mean. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. What? We went unscripted, we went chaotic, and me and Slaps went fucking live like we always do. It's a little off the wall, and I understand that, you know, some people aren't into that. But like we say, you don't have to watch it. Okay? <laughs> like, we understand people aren't into it. Also, you know, and if you're not, that's cool. That is totally cool. And if you ever, like, if you start your own thing and you want some advice, dude, me and Slaps, I'll give it to you. Because we've learned from knowing nothing to doing what we do now, and we think we do it pretty good. Um, other thing, Rachel Johnson, we were going to have her on. That will be our first female guest that we've ever had. Very smart, intellectual, beautiful lady. And I think you will, you'll be stunned that her, her, Attention to detail, but yet her her quick wit to go on the other side and crack a joke together are very punchline-ish, and you'll like it. We would also get her like her to team up with Miss Knight to have like kind of maybe a 
a uh, talk off, you know, or a subject off between me and Slappy on the Unscripted Chaos Live versus real factual studied opinion. They'll leave. <laughs> me and Slappy will run them out. <laughs> they won't be able to stand it. No, but we thought that would be cool. Like, if we could have that, um, both the ladies, very factual, very beautiful. And um, we thought that our crowd would like that, so we were going to try and get that done. Um, you know, subjects, people ask, what's the hardest part? It's coming up with fucking new subjects. And me wearing new shirts and not repeating. That's one of my things, though. But no, like, um, new subjects is really hard. Like, we have subjects from work, some that we don't even want to touch. Like, I mean, here's, like, some things. A lot of people from my work, um, their kids do TikTok challenges. They're for their kids. I love a TikTok challenge when it's, you know, supporting a good cause and everything like that. What if they had adult TikTok challenges? Like, here's my thing. Here's my thing. What if, and I'm going to go deep here, like I always do. <laughs> no. Oh. And I always do that, too. I have not got these damn earbuds down yet. Okay. So here's my deal. Men. And, and we're, we're all adults here, so I just want to talk about adult things for a second. Here's my deal. We know that when a man gets ready to... How should we say it? Ejaculate! No, but when he gets ready, he makes some weird noises. And when a female does, too. When a female gets ready to get her rocks off, they make some weird noises, too. So how about this? Instead of weird noises, before you do it, quote your favorite movie line. Oh, yeah. Yep. Blew your mind with that one, didn't I? Could you imagine that? The King of Chaos? Uh, it'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> okay. So. Alright. But then you have the ladies. Do the same thing too. I think it'd be awesome. Okay. So let's say you got a cool, cool old lady. She's she's diverse in her movie things. And then all of a sudden she get ready and she says... You have me, hello. <laughs> Bam! I'm thinking about this, okay? Guys, guys, guys. <coughs> Let's just go on, but... You're gonna need a bigger boat. Okay? Then you got fucking... You know, your ladies are coming back again. And all of a sudden, the ladies are just like... Hi, my name's Forrest. No, I'm joking on that one. No, but I mean, you know, okay. Other questions that we get asked that we don't touch. If a man goes completely dumb right before he does that, which they do, you're all in the mood. Oh, oh. And you're talking, and then you're, you're, you've did it before. Everybody's had the old stanky like, you crumbed over. It's just been so good. You, Some weird shit like that, okay. What does a dumb person do when they do it? And I've answered this question, my friend. My friend who had asked this question. I will not reveal your name, but I've told you this. I get to the bottom of things, and here it is. Physics. A math physics problem is what they do. They fucking start out, and then also fucking 3.2. 21 equals A. X minus Y plus Z. Yeah. And they give you the answer. They solve world problems when they do it. Uh huh. Dig in Iraq. That's where oil came from. One of them fucking get their sploogy. Dig in Iraq. See? But I challenge us for movie titles. We got another one coming up, me and Slappy Doo. Um, <laughs> it's a Harley thing. We've noticed that Harley riders are very proud of their shit. And they should be for the price tag on it. But Harley riders, 
Oh, I wish the most greeting to other bikes. No, as people. Nicest motherfuckers you're ever going to meet. Big bears. They are. I played a bunch of biker alleys. Nicest people that you could ever meet. Almost like make you feel like you're their kid. Like after 10 minutes of talking to them. They're like the mom and pop. But when it comes to the other bikes, oh no, that's where they're hard. Little crotch rocket. Go wing motherfucker. You know? Shit like that. So me and Slaps are going to have a... It's a Harley thing. And we hope to have a guy who drives Harley in here. And we're going to make a video first. I'm just trying to tell you the direction that we're going. So, you know, you want to keep tuned in. And we hope you do. Third off, we always end with live, love, laugh. And I've been asked that. So I'm just going to tell you why. <coughs> Point A, live. You got one life. Why spend it angry or doing dumb shit? And here's the thing. A lot of people feel like they're trapped in situations. It's my fault for doing it, but I just, I'm just, you're not trapped. You have one fucking life. If you don't get out from where you're trapped from, then you are wasting it. Love. God damn, there are so many different divisions. Love is on. Love is... I found it there. I found it there. I love Miss Knight in a way that I can not love anyone else. I love my little baby more than I love anybody else. My kids more than I love anybody else. I love my mom just as much, but in a different way. I've got some friends that I love to fucking death. Not like I do Miss Knight or my mom, but in a different way. You can love however you want. That is the coolest thing about fucking love. Nobody can put a goddamn like fucking little parameter on fucking how much you can do it. It's what excites you. It's what makes you happy. And that brings us to the last part. Laugh and fucking laugh away. God, people who do not laugh and take shit so serious. Piss me the fuck off. You remember the movie Van Wilder? One of the greatest quotes. Don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out alive. Laugh. Have fun. That's what me and Slappy hope we make you do. Me and Captain... Slappy, hope that we make you do. At least once through our video, we hope we make you laugh. And if we did, it's worth it. It also burns like some calories and fat good on your figure. That's why I'm always down to this weight. I laugh all the fucking time. Yep. I go to pee. <laughs> After that, I get dressed. <laughs> I go to work. Somebody fucks up. <laughs> I get home, take a shower. <laughs> yep, that's why I'm the, the weight I am. I laugh all the time. No, but laugh. God damn laugh. You wouldn't believe like the, the versatility. And I'm going to get into this for one second, and then I'm, I'm going to be done with you guys for now. Woody! Woody! Mind! Woody. We, we, we just rested. Woodster did. He's pretty popular, man. Tell you what, that motherfucker will tell you about the zombie apocalypse for some reason. I don't know why. But no. Okay? So once again, our little buddy at work who played USI baseball. Not going to say your name because, oh, nobody wants to know that I watch Gun Script to Chaos Live. But thanks for thanks for talking Sam Malone, your, your friend who played for the Red Sox, for getting me in here for tonight. I will pay off my tab. But anyway, no. So, like, the, the last thing I want to touch on is we just hope you guys continue to, to watch and to, to like it. If you want to comment, you have to. If you want to subscribe, then you, so you know when shit comes up, you can. But most importantly to you, man, all we got to say is let yourself be yourself. Be you. We're being us. And if people don't like that, guess what? Go fuck yourself.
Yeah, I can. Lobster, this one's for you, baby. Oh.